and then reveal that to everybody, big reaction, and then uh, pitch whatever I need to pitch. Hello everyone, today I have a special guest. We have Siler. And uh, is that your stage name or your real name or what's, what is it? It's, yeah, what is real? Brendan? What is real? You know, that's my a mom great and dad start. call me Siler. So they call I you guess Siler. That is my real that name. That is your real that's, name that's then. That's how it works, right? Siler. Yeah. Perfect. How did you start into magic? I'm, I wanted the David Blaine wave of magicians. Oh. I was, I was a bartender. Early 2000s? Yeah, I guess. Okay, yeah. I okay. Was, uh, I was a bartender about, yeah, about 15 years ago. So it'd be about 2004, I would say. Okay. Uh, I was a bartender. And Very I, similar to how I started as a bartender. I was, but in a bar that didn't really have a lot of customers. Okay. So I would watch a lot of YouTube and I, 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 <laughs> okay. I found David Blaine's first special. Nice. And I started learning some magic for customers and stuff like that. Yeah. And then eventually it just kind of grew into this sort Amazing. of, you know, and I started doing waitering as well. So then I would do magic around the tables and wow. get more tips and stuff like that. So. Cool, cool. And yeah. So I think what we're going to talk about today mainly is how Siler uses his restaurant residencies to get gigs. First of all, I've made a video on how to get residencies. Do you have any way that you get residencies better than what I mentioned? I don't know if you've seen the video. No, but I've, seen, you, I've seen the video and like the thing is, it is different the way I do it. Like normally I would... Because I worked as a waiter more than as a bartender in nightclubs, I think I have slightly more experience with how the staff is. So right. I know that I need to get to the manager or the owner, but yes. I do need to not come across to the staff like waiters or bartenders as like, oh, I'm here just here to talk to the boss or whatever. Right. So generally what I do, like my main thing is, I'm going to be a customer. I'm going to go have some food and have a drink. Now yeah. I'm a customer at yeah. your establishment. And they treat you differently. So you have differently. to talk to me, yeah. right? Yeah. So then I'll just, generally I'll do something like, normally if I'm in a bar or in a restaurant and it has a bar, my main go-to trick is the invisible deck in a cocktail shake. Okay. okay. Right? So I'll, I'll grab, oh, can you give me the cocktail shaker? They don't know what I'm doing. I'll yeah. put the cards and I'll do the trick. Reaction, yeah. start yeah. doing some more stuff. Obviously timing is very good. Don't go when it's very busy. Because if it's of very course. busy, they're not yes. going to have time for this. Yes. Go like, you you know, restaurants, lunchtime busy, evening busy, in the middle, they're bored. They have nothing to do. They'd yeah. love to see some magic. Then the manager, ask That's for the manager. That's a good tip. That is know? a great tip. Okay, yeah. yeah. And you ask the manager and then, yeah. Well, as for the manager, or generally, like, after a few tricks, the bartenders will go and they'll be like, wait, 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 let me get my boss or let me get my manager. Exactly. And they'll bring him in, you'll show him some stuff. Yeah. And then generally I offer the first night for free. So good. I say, because I, I, I wanted to come across like, this is something we both agree on. So I'd normally say, I'm gonna come one one night here and if I enjoy it and if you enjoy it then we can both come to an agreement exactly because maybe your establishment is not right for me yeah and yeah. I did mention that in my video too that saying that I normally do a night for free like like you yeah. said exactly so quite similar to what we said but I think I like your context which I didn't put the point in about going in in that middle I just said go into the restaurant but I like that yeah. one. so you're yeah. watching just, that video you know so you know when it's like dead time go in there be a customer because okay. then they have to look after you one customer that you yes. have but yes. also they're a bit bored so you have time to chat Perfect. and whatever you know so now that you have that residency how do you take it from there how do you why do you do residencies because you do residencies for very different purpose that I do yes, yes, what yes. I and I, I'll be honest with you I think yes. I think what you do is much better you're more as a businessman you're much more better yes, I'm yes. more of a residency person because I need to pay my right. bills and I want to have that fixed income coming in so that's why I do seven or eight residencies a week sometimes yes. but I have that fixed money coming in but yes. you do it for something very different so Completely tell us different. What you, so what I do I do a lot of weddings as well so I kind of learned that I think from doing wedding fairs if I'm at a wedding fair the couple comes in they're gonna get married right so they have an event in mind already. Mm -hmm. I need yeah. to show them two, three things and then go, look, look at your faces. This is how your guests will look like. Do you want yeah. to book me? That's a yes or no, it's easy, you know? So I do the same thing. I'll go to a table, yeah. I'll perform one, two, three things max, and then I'll, I'll give them a flyer to a show if I have a show coming up, or if not, give them a business card, tell them what I do. They could book me, or if they know anybody that could book me, and then tell them I'll be there again next month if they want to see me again or bring friends, and I move Excellent. on to the next table. So it's more of a pitch than, a performance. Right. So you don't right. say so you don't really structure your routine. You just show them one or two things. I'll, I'll show them like my best okay. things. You know, yeah. like it's, there's no opener yeah. or like for me everything's a closer. Right. right. So I'll show okay. them That's two of point. the best things I have. Right. Right. Yeah. To, to know that I kill them. Yeah. But also one thing more. Right. Perfect. And I did mention that about residencies. You always want to leave them wanting more, but I like what you do. You don't have an opener, you don't have a middle. You just go bang on with the yeah. end. Yeah. You kill them with that, yeah. and now they want to talk to you. So do you spend a lot of time talking to them about what you do? More I than do, the magic? Well, no, no, I think it, it will be half, it'll be half and half. Okay. So I'd say my, my approach to a table, I don't 
Like very rarely I'll introduce myself because I feel that it gives them an opportunity to say no. Right. With nightclubs it's different, but yeah. generally I'll literally go in with the with the deck of cards and just put it in the middle of the table and say nice. there's a playing card face down in this pack. Is it red or black? Uh, uh, red. Diamonds or hearts? Diamonds. What number? Seven. Bam. So now they just yeah. saw something amazing. Like yes. that's a good opener. The yes. Invisible deck, okay. You know. And after that, maybe I'll uh, I'll borrow a coin and I'll bend their coin. Yeah. And then I'll have a little chat because they're interested. They never met a magician before. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. after that, uh, maybe close with a pin reveal. So I'll get them to think of their pin code or nice. think of a name or something super interesting like that. And then reveal that to everybody. Big reaction. Okay. And then uh, pitch whatever I need to pitch. Excellent. So although you're doing every sort of magic, but you're known for a certain type of magic, which you do mainly the mentalism. Yes, that's what, I love, that's what I, a lot of people know you for. Right? Yeah, I guess I love. I, I mean, I, I still do certain magic things, and I love magic as well. It's just like tr like it's a combination of things that I love, but also trying to be different. You Excellent. know, like you're very different from a lot of magicians because you don't do card tricks. Like I was watching one of your videos today, yeah. and you were doing one, and I was like, yeah. you shouldn't do this. Yeah, honestly, because you why why. Just because yeah. everybody else is there, yeah. and 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 if you look at a lot of magicians, not mm -hmm. saying this in a bad way, it's it shouldn't you shouldn't be a magician. You should be a card magician, right. because if you have ten effects in your act, if yeah. more than one of them is a card trick, mm -hmm. then you're not a magician. You're a card magician. Right. If you have five card tricks and then a coin trick and a pen trick and a rope trick, okay. that's a card trick. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I want to be honest with you, with the video. Normally, I don't do a lot of cards. It's not in my number one set. I think but it's you just probably like saw, that, yeah. saw that. No, and I'll tell you you're why you saw cartoon, that because you know? yeah. yeah, because I'm running out of material. You watching this at all for new people are gonna be like, yeah, it's my yeah. same. My the mm -hmm. YouTube audience is the same audience. I don't want to bore you doing the same thing, mm -hmm. and that's why that once sense. in a while yeah. I go and do something that I don't normally do, and that's yeah. that's the one to your question. That's why yeah. I did it. Yeah. But I'm not trying to give excuses. And what you said is absolutely right. No, yeah, yeah. Don't just do something that everyone's doing. My audience knows. I always talk about how to be original, trying to be yeah. great, trying to be different. That's the main thing. You are different. So. Where do people find you? Uh, well, I'm in Berkhamsted and I have a show with Steve Rowe every month and we have a guest from the circle as well every month. Which I performed there before, yes. It was amazing. So uh, if you go on my website, silermagic.com, you can see the dates and get tickets and all that stuff. I'll leave the links below in the description. I'll also leave Silas Instagram if you go and check him out. Yeah. So everything to do with Silas. And my, my YouTube, because maybe I have a vlog that I'm editing. Uh huh. Just okay, quick, so uh, there we quick, go. We heard I, I that. Did a, I did a show in Bruges. I don't know if you've seen. No, I've not seen that one. In Belgium, I did okay. a show for 100 people. It was okay. amazing. So I did a little, a little video. I want to watch that. I'm working on it. I'll let you know when it's Perfect. ready. Let me know when it's ready. I'll be subscribing to his channel and so do you. Uh, excellent. So thank you for this. Thanks interview. for having me. Uh, I hope Thanks you enjoyed this. And you know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment. Please ask me something and I'll explain to you or I'll get in a guest that you want to see. Please don't mention David Blaine or David Copperfield. I can't get them. I don't think that's ever going to happen on this channel. Do it. I'm just going to get people that I know. These are friends of mine. So thanks, Sala, for coming Aww, down. Thanks, man. Because I'd rather invite my friends and give everyone a platform to share. And this channel is all about giving everyone an equal opportunity to come and talk and teach you something. So until next time. See you guys later. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye.